Hi everyone, this is Brad with ProLite Gear, and today we'll talk about the new updated series uh, from Osprey called the Code Packs. These are packs dedicated to side country, lift serve, and back country skiing. Uh, they used to come in three different sizes. The only real difference between last season's packs, this season's packs, the code used to come in a 38, now it comes in a 42. So it's a little bit bigger, you can carry more things for, say, an extended day or an extended weekend out back country skiing. You could take this to a, the 42 to a yurt with you with all your stuff needed to sleep and still have all your backcountry ski essentials with you. Um, we're going to use the 22 right now. I know these are all black. Uh, we set up the lights here trying to light up the backpacks a little bit so we can get a little less black hole feeling here. These are feature laden. Uh, they're a tiny bit heavy um, as far as packs go, but these are for backcountry skiing. They're made for skiing. Nine times out of ten, you're getting to the top of a lift and then hiking out of bounds. So the weight ends up being more durable. The fabrics are incredibly tough. Uh, I can see years of abuse with ski edges and sharp burrs caused by rocks when you hit them. Not really taking a toll on this pack too heavily. Hip belt. Pockets on both sides. And Osprey does a good job of giving a pocket that will close fairly easily with one hand. You might have to use two hands the way it's set up a little bit. On all their toggles are big enough with a mittened hand. You can grab these very, very easily. Keep snacks in. I always keep my slope indicator card uh, or my slope indicator just in a hip belt. So whenever I'm on a slope, drop the ski pole, check the slope, and keep going. So I always like to keep one of those just for that. Uh, same hip belt on the other side, same pocket. Hip belt has a lot of padding in it. Not a ton, but just enough to kind of keep, keep things from rubbing raw and transfer weight well. Big buckles on the hip belt make it really easy to get in and out of with a mittened hand as well. It does have a safety whistle built into the sternum strap like most Osprey packs. Uh, I wish this buckle was bigger or they went to the kind that you can push with a mittened hand. It would be a little bit problematic to get in and out of the sternum strap. I think they should have changed that a little bit. The shoulder strap <coughs> carries the same technology from the old code packs. You can get to your hydration bladder through the shoulder strap. In theory, it'll stay more insulated next to your body, picking up some of the heat, keeping the water from freezing. I've never had any of these systems actually work that well, so my system from using a bladder, bite the end, blow air into it so there's no water sitting in the hose or the end piece, and that's why I keep mine from freezing. Zip that back up. What I like about the Code Series packs is you can carry everything on here. You can carry skis on the sides going to an A-frame, which makes it very, very comfortable to carry. If you're carrying a snowboard, you can simply unclip this buckle right here, bring it out, hypo reinforcements there, go up and around a snowboard, unclip this, take it outside this little piece here, and you've got a perfect snowboard carry system. If you don't want to carry your skis A-frame, you simply slide them through one section of this bottom piece on the other side of this tab here, and then run it either vertically or diagonal carry, slide this back through here like this, clip this back in, and you've got a perfect diagonal ski carry. It has a helmet carrier built into this outside pocket here. This clips up and over a helmet to hold it in place. Uh, there's two little clips up on top here that this snaps into. Uh, there we go. Sorry, all the buckles are black as well, so it's hard to see sometimes. Your helmet can sit right up top here and be completely out of the way and not rattling or moving around, which is really nice. I'm going to put this away. I also choose to put a few odds and ends up in this pocket as well, some little snacks you can get to real quick. All right, sorry, we had a battery just completely die on us there, so we're going to cut right back into this. I think I was talking about something that Osprey did very, very smart, and that would be this little toggle system up at the top. My great fear with these teardrop-style backpacks is the zippers slowly working themselves apart. Then when you're going through moguls, I mean, you're bouncing, stuff falls out, you lose things, gloves, hats, scarves, that kind of stuff. They have this little tiny toggle piece right here that you pull down, slide through the rope, the little string, and then you can undo it. So essentially, that little piece will lock it shut, so you're never going to really lose anything out of your pack. I think it's a nice update and a little foresight on their part. I really like the fact that Osprey did that. So, that being said, let's jump into the second pocket on top here. This is your goggle pocket. It's got this nice kind of uh, 
soft finish fabric that's supposed to be non-scratch. I think I said this in the last video I did on the reverb pack. This stuff will soak up a banana like you wouldn't believe if it gets smashed in here. So just be word to the wise on what you put in that pocket other than goggles. And something that all these packs share the same feature set on. The load lifter straps, unclip. And these are the good buckles. I wish they would use one of these buckles. I don't know if you can zoom in and see this, Craig. I wish they would use these on the, uh, <coughs> the sternum strap. This buckle right here is the old school style where you have to push in these little tiny wings and then pull out. And with the mitten, you get stuck doing that. These right here, the little push things, are covered by a piece of plastic. So even with a big, thick mitten on, you can push and take apart the buckles. I think they should have done that on the sternum strap just to make it a little bit easier to use. The whole back panel on this pack opens all the way up. So you set your pack in the snow. You can open this up and get to everything you have, all your layers inside. Basically keep everything dry. There's a hydration bladder sleeve. You can unzip here. Throw your bladder in. Little loop up at the top. You can clip it up so you don't get the sag. Snacks, first aid kit extra layers, extra clothing. What you notice on this pack versus the Reverb series is that you don't see the Avi gear. What I like about the Code series is that they put that accessible only from the outside. So when you're, getting, when you're in an avalanche situation, you basically unzip this pocket right here, get around this strap here, and all the way up, and you're in your avi layer, which I really like. <clears throat> these straps can be opened on the sides as well, these buckles. Where you can lay this completely open. You get into it very, very quickly. Uh, snow saw can sit here in this middle portion. Probe over here, shovel handle over here, and shovel blade here. My only complaint about this particular pack, the 22, I'm going to walk off frame here for a second. Let's grab. Shovels and probes. This probe, when put into the little slot here and pushed down as far as it will go, hangs out the top. As you can see there, if you put it down in just a standard backpack, it's pretty close. I mean, it, when it's out of the case, you could get that to shut. This is the Volet shovel. Big, big blade. Really nicely sits inside the pack. The shovel handle goes in there very well, no problem zipping any of that up. If you get a shovel with a longer handle, something similar to uh, this one I'm holding here, this Comperdell, I'm going to break this down a little bit, make it a little bit easier, but not really that long of a handle. It's kind of like the probe. It hangs out the top. So you're going to have to pick your, your shovel and probe a little more carefully this pack. It is smaller, it's 22 liters, so definitely geared more towards a lift serve pack than an actual backcountry ski pack. You have to get to the larger sizes of this series before you're really getting to those, you know, big enough size to be in the backcountry safely. So that was the Osprey Code 22. This is the 32. Almost the exact same feature set, a few more zippers here and there, but basically just a bigger version of the 22. So that is the Osprey Code 32, just for the overview. Same features, same everything, just a little bit deeper. This used to be the size 38 liter, now the 42. I think it's a really good size change. Um, I've noticed that I pack up that 38 liter completely full and kind of want a little more room for long days in the backcountry, or even a quick overnight to a yurt. This one does have the lid, so you can keep avalanche gear, snow steady kits, extra gloves and food kind of up in there if you need to. It does have the separate Abby pocket, the little fancy toggles there. You can open up and grab everything very quickly. This one on the other hand is just a little bit longer, and when I say a little bit, I mean like this much longer than the 22 and the 32. You still would have a hard time getting a longer shovel handle in there. So this carbon one that I have, you'll probably have to put it in a couple different pieces but it still will fit in the, in the 42 pack, which I like. It's wide enough to accommodate most shovel blades. It does do A-frame carry, side carry, diagonal carry, 
pretty much any carrier you can think of for both snowboard and skis. The only real difference is that it does have the brain up top. The zip into the back panel is also accessed via the snow chute up top here. So it's more like packing a traditional backpack. If you want to, you know, get into the top using the snow chute, you can, rather than having to unzip and unclip your sternum straps, get the zips open up and then fold the pack open. Any way you want to swing it, these are great little packs that are full featured for any kind of snow activity. They'll hold snowshoes, skis, and snowboards. Uh, there's a few loops down the center on all the packs. You can put up a single ice tool on here if you want to. Put your trekking poles or your ski poles, if you're going to boot pack, into a section here next to your skis. You can collapse them, whatever you need to do. Beautiful little packs from Osprey. Uh, if you like the videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have any questions. Please feel free to leave those on the Ask Brad section of our forums. Call us, email us, we'll do our best to answer your questions. And thank you very much for watching our Osprey Code Series Overview. Have a good day.